This week on a new drug that could mean the difference between life and death in the war against AIDS has AIDS researchers and people even in the White House wanting to know more. Cynthia Allison is here with an exclusive report, understandably getting a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Brad Seidelin just could be a wonder drug, but it's still in the experimental stage. Even so, the early results have been dramatic, so much so that the demand for the drug is overwhelming. And in this exclusive I-Team report, even the skeptics want to know more about it. My first reaction whenever I hear about a new antiviral compound is that usually it's just another fad drug that somebody is trying, and there are a few anecdotes that maybe somebody felt better on, but otherwise I'm not enthusiastic about it. The head of AIDS research at Cedar sinai Medical Center had the same reaction to Cytolin, until I showed him the lab results from patients who say it is the only drug they were taking. Assuming that these numbers are true, it suggests that there really is an antiviral response to the drug, and that's the key. When we're treating HIV, we want to see the amount of virus in the blood decrease. With 10 patients, it's anecdotal, but it certainly suggests that there is a, a fairly consistent antiviral response to this drug, and that the antiviral response is as good or perhaps better than some of the drugs we're currently using to treat the disease. A man who is advising the president on HIV and AIDS is Dr. Scott Hitt. He also finds Cytolin promising and is urging Washington to test it as quickly as possible. From what I've seen of Cytolin in a few specific patients is that it's been very dramatic rises in T-cells, lowering in viral load, and I'd like to see if that's repeated in other patients. Took the cells of a mouse and produced an experimental drug. Everybody else had been working on trying to get rid of the virus, which isn't so easy to do, and after more than a dozen years, we hadn't had great success with that approach. So my idea was to instead change the immune system so that the virus doesn't trigger it into self-destructing. This is Cytolin, something as simple as antibodies from mice that may become the miracle drug in the war against AIDS. Why the need for such a drug? With a regular virus like the flu, the germ comes and goes because the immune system kills off the virus. With a DNA virus such as herpes, once you're infected, it won't go away. The same thing happens with HIV. A blueprint of the virus is always there, hiding in your cells. At first, the immune system controls the virus, but with time, HIV causes the immune system to destroy itself. It does that by making the killer cells of the immune system destroy CD4 T cells, which are the helper cells, the ones that turn on the immune system. Without the ability to turn on the immune system, the patient is unable to fight off infection. The average person has about 800 T cells, but as HIV does its dirty work, that number drops. Once it falls below 200, the patient technically has AIDS. Cytolin works by binding to the part of the immune system that is flawed by HIV. As a result, the T cells begin to grow again and kill off the virus. It has the president's ear, so what's next now? The drug company has to get its act together and make the application to the FDA. If that happens in the next couple of months, we may have word on this drug by the end of the year. Wouldn't that be exciting? Very. Yeah, a million people are infected with HIV. Yeah. Keep us updated. Thanks, okay. Thank you.